Riverside Park Wastewater Treatment Facility was built in the 1950s with an upgrade in the 70s. Uh, the City of Spokane, we commend them for the fact that they're building for the future. Uh, they're, they're addressing the issues of the tertiary uh, discharge requirements and the upcoming uh, issues with the algae blooms downstream. The next level of treatment project at the plant is a part of the city's larger Cleaner River Faster initiative, which is a green and gray infrastructure solution to pull stormwater out of our combined system and better treat it at the plant to release cleaner water into the river. The scope of this project is built into two large phases, and within each of those phases, phase one and two, we have multiple packages to keep the work going and the design going. You know, it's a very complex and phased project and fortunately the owner selected the GCCM contract method which really allows for a collaborative environment. So the benefit of the, uh, of the GCCM process is that it aligns everybody in their goals and objectives. So you have the designer, owner, operator, maintainer, and the contractor all sitting in this collaborative trust-based process and, and the result is saving some time, savings in money and a much better uh, owner satisfaction of the final product and, uh, and we feel like we're realizing that all in this process so far. One of the challenges of constructing an existing weight water treatment facility is keeping the plant in operations. Uh, it's, it's working to, to, maintain, uh, to maintain the wastewater treatment to the, to the existing customers as we construct it and we don't interrupt that process. All together in this trust-based collaborative process they brought in 116 ideas. We boiled them down to 16. Initially, it was like four and a half million in savings. And since then, we've compiled something on the order of 11 and a half million in total savings and a much better product and outcome altogether. As we're building it, we can really provide them best value by catering the project to the operator's needs, to everything the owner needs to operate and maintain this project in the best, best way at the end of the day. The city has an intention to leave everything that we do better than we found it. So a huge part of this is replanting this area once we're finished, pulling trucks off of the roadway to make sure that we have a minimal impact on the citizens who live and work and play in this area.